Sending you all the next year pursuing a bachelor's degree in criminal justice. I want to thank you for being with me and thank you for being here. Appreciate you. Thank you. Next up, I'm going to get her off her feet as quickly as possible. Number two, Mackenzie Keeler. Pens came to Herkimer as a transfer from SUNY Fredonia by way of Baldwin's home office. That's right, James Local. Yeah. <laughs> it's no secret that Kens has been our fearless leader on the field, playing with an unmatched intensity and passion. She has that edge that, as coaches, we all look for in an athlete. When the lights go on and the curtain goes up, it's all business. A sweetheart off the field, but an absolute lion on. Her leadership and work ethic certainly set the tone for this team. You are destined for greatness. Coaching this program has led to mostly great days. Honestly, the only tough days I can remember is not delivering for our girls in the national championship. <coughs> but I can assure you that last Saturday, Trump called us. My job is to protect my kids. For the first time in my career, I felt helpless. I would trade every win and every award I've ever had 
take the pain off so you can finish what you said you could do. But we know that can't happen. So I and the rest of these girls promise to dig a little bit deeper and to give a little bit more in your honor. Kansas is currently weighing many options to continue your academic and softball career. And whoever is lucky enough to name you will be extremely fortunate just as we are. I love you, Kansas. Thank you for choosing the Herbert Lincoln High School Boys. <laughs> Next up is number 25, Natasha Holt. I still haven't learned Tasha's real name. I don't know if it's Natasha, Natasha, Tash, Tosh. She goes by them all. Um, we stick with Aussie sometimes. Um, Tosh came to Herkimer as a transfer from Odessa in Texas. And is from Melbourne, Australia. Another kid who is an absolute terrific person off the field, but is an assassin on it. She is lethal and can do so many things at a high level in regards to the game. No matter the position, she dominates. Grit and passion are what define her. With a softball IQ that's absolutely off the charts, she has a great feel for the game and absolutely mashes at the plate. You can get us off the Mostly, we just love to hear her talk with that captivating accent. Not to mention, if anyone needs a dog sitter, Tosh is your girl. Tosh is currently in conversation with many scholarship schools about continuing her academic and athletic career. Tosh, thank you for all that you have done. I love you and, you and wish you nothing but the best in your future. Greatness awaits. Thank you for choosing her for me. Next up, number six, Alyssa Ramirez. <laughs> Alyssa, or Tex, comes to us all the way from Bay City, Texas. What a journey and a ride it's been, kid. It's like a great novel with a little bit of everything. But I can tell you that I want to trade it for the world. Not a bit of it. It's our story and journey, and I think we have both grown to the better as people, player, and coach. And remember, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And we'll hopefully have a couple of weeks left to write this conclusion to this incredible story. You're one of the sweetest young ladies I've ever met. I'm so proud of the person that you're becoming. Measure success by growth, and you may well be one of the greatest successes I've had. I'll always cherish our time together. You've treated my family like your own. I love you for that. I look forward to our eternal friendship. Thank you for never quitting on me and never quitting on yourself, more importantly. Thank you for choosing her from the Thank you. Next up is number 20, Maddie Petty. Maddie, M-A-D-D-Y, M-A-D-I, M-A-D-D-I-E. Um, I think it's M-A-D-Y at this point after two years. Uh, Maddie comes to us from Vernal, Utah. It's not joking. Uh, from Vernal, Utah as um, a Mormon and a Red Sox fan. But leaving as a Central New Yorker and a Yankee fan. For life. <laughs> Maddie has a dry sense of humor and a serial killer's wit. She's got a tough exterior, but deep down is one of the most compassionate, loving, and family-oriented people I have ever met. When I think of Maddie, I think of resiliency. It has not been an easy road since arriving here in the fall of 2017 just recently coming off the surgery from a torn ACL. Maddie was coming here to make a name for herself on the softball field and in the country as a big swinging first baseman. 
and those dreams had to be put on hold. She worked tirelessly on rehab, doing everything that she could to make her way back, but never got over the hump that first year. Then another procedure at the end of her freshman year set her back a bit again in the fall, weighing more mentally than physically. But with the diligence of Kyle and the support team around her and the support from coaches and especially from her teammates and family, Maddie started to finally gain some ground this past semester upon returning from break. Full practices led to full workouts, which led to full sprints, which led to a full heart for both of us. She has stepped in and stepped up in some big moments for this team, and I'm looking forward to more of the same down the stretch. Maddie, thank you for choosing Hooker and coming into our lives. You're truly one of a kind, and I'll never forget you. Maddie and her cowgirl boots will be transferring next fall to possibly Colbusville and studying equine therapy. Thank you for being an inspiration. Next up is number 19, Ayana Roop. Roopy, Roopy Poo, Winnie the Roop, Roopy Pants. I got them all for her. Roop is a beautiful person who is the most selfless leader I've ever had the pleasure of coaching. We've created a certain culture in our program built around selflessness and character. Being a part of something that's bigger than yourself. It's an idea, it's a belief, it's a way of life amongst our team. And that mindset starts with person greater than player. She is the epitome of this ideal. So much so that she was hand chosen by me to wear jersey number 19. For those that don't know, we lost the recruit back in December 2012 a drunk driving accident, and she was the most beautiful soul. Her smile was infectious, and her personality was contagious. It was mesmerizing. It made every person feel so comfortable, like they belonged, and as if they were the most important person in the world. And this is exactly who I honor Rube is to. She deserves to wear number 19 and from the bottom of my heart and behalf of the Rivers family as well. Thank you for wearing that jersey with pride. Ayana is also a great leader. Our definition of leadership is not always being the best or most talented player, but rather the most talented person. Someone who is always willing to sacrifice personal athletes for the betterment of the team and the program. Someone who puts everyone else's successes first before theirs and deflects credit to all those around them. And that's what this young lady has done time and time again. Whether it's her teammates or coaches or fellow classmates, college or community, she's always putting everyone else first talk about greatness, and that greatness isn't just your greatness, but rather in the greatness that you bring out in all those that come in contact with you. She has made me a better coach, a better father, and a better person. And today's your day, and I want to say thank you, Ruth, for the person that you are. Thank you for coming into our lives. Thank you for being a part of this program. You have certainly left your legacy. I love you so much. Thank you. Next up is number 77, Hunter Van Arnhem. Hunter, or Chewy, comes to us from Schuylerville, New York. I've known Hunter for about five years now. I watched her grow from the high school ranks in the travel ball scene. Hunter is one of our success stories here at Herkman, and one that I'll talk about for a long time. Through the recruiting process, no guarantees were made, but she had much work to do. She had much work to do. Put herself in a position to compete for a roster spot. We were enamored with Hunter's size and strength. But what I admittedly underestimated was the size of her heart. And her will to succeed. First of all was a tad rocky. She tried to find herself in her identity. But came back in the spring with a vengeance and fight. I had the utmost respect for. 
She made big changes, proving to me she wanted a jersey. She worked hard and got a few opportunities, and one of my shining moments for the 2018 season was her hitting two bombs and, drop, and having nine RBIs in a game. She continued to work, continued to be a great person, and continued to be a great teammate, and that continued this fall. She became a leader, and confidence was exuding. Hunter had fully come out of her shell and was our team mom, leading her kids around campus, and it was a beautiful sight. She has made the most of her opportunities this spring, even throwing a no-hitter in the Carolinas, has continued to improve as an athlete, a player, a pitcher, and most importantly, a person. She is currently in talks with scholarship schools about continuing her playing career in education. Education has also recently been accepted into SUNY Oneon. We're proud of you, Hunter. Greatness awaits. Love you, kid. Thank you for choosing me. Next up, number one, Taylor Zeno. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Taylor TZ is from West Canada High School in Newport, New York, and, one of, and is one of our best local products we've ever had here at Lipton Softball. With makeup on point and eyebrows always sleeping. <laughs> TZ's motto is look good, play good. <laughs> It's an absolute treat to watch her play. If you're lucky enough, you may be able to catch a glimpse of that Ferrari zooming around the bases. One of the best pure and dynamic athletes we've ever seen here at Brooklyn. While she may not be big in stature, she stands tall amongst the competitors on game day. She is our catalyst in our modern day murderer's row lineup that we have, and the one who makes us go. Currently, she's leading the country in stolen bases with 61. <laughs> and is on track to win the Rawlings Golden Spikes Award. TZ is currently fielding many offers from numerous scholarship schools and is excited and anxious to find out where she will land next. Whoever is lucky enough to lock in her talents for the next two years will be blessed with not only an amazing player, but also an amazing teammate and an amazing human being. You're going to be sorely missed. I can't thank you enough for believing in me and finally coming to Herkman for that visit. It's forever changed the course of our program, and the best is yet to come. Love you, kid. And by the way, I'll be bringing my eyebrow kit to me. <laughs> ridiculously smart and super innocent girl and is leaving as a strong, confident, uber talented, still ridiculously smart, mostly innocent scholarship receiving and one of the most decorated players and pitchers we've ever had here at Herman College. I can remember Pub walking into my office in September 2017, distraught, emotional, a ball of nerves, proclaiming if she wasn't sure if she could have it here academically and athletically. Calmed her down, reassured her, got her some help, and quickly called my coaches to inform of the task at hand. Four semesters later, four semesters of a 4.0 GPA in my head, 300 and some odd strikeouts later, two All American, two All Americans later, a Student Chancellor's Award later, a Student Athlete of the Year Award later, and a Division I scholarship later. Here where you are, sending you off on senior day. Thank you for trusting the process. Thank you for trusting in me and the rest of your coaches, especially Coach Jade. Thank you for loving the program. Thank you for bringing my best friend and the rest of the family into our lives. And thank you for being you. You have certainly left a legacy and some awfully big shoes to fill. 
Next up is Jenna Hogan. Jenna, or Hoagie, comes to us from Columbia High School in Albany, New York. Jenna is a hitting junkie, mashing softball since she came out of the womb. She's a true student of the game, a film junkie, and is simply one of the best pure hitters that not only have we had here at Herkorn, but that I've ever laid eyes on. She is an extension of the coaching staff and often becoming hitting coaches for some of these young ladies that are out here today. I have total trust in her in that position. She has put together an amazing two-year career, last year garnering All-American honors, All-Region, All-Conference, and the Region 3 Tournament MVP. Not only can Jenna swing it, but she can play both the infield and the outfield and is just a great all-around athlete. What many of you don't know is that Jenna is also one of the most amazing people that I know. Ridiculously funny, with an awesome sense of humor. Loving, caring, incredibly mature, and in leadership as an RA on our campus. And is there for her squad in the drop of a dime. The impact that she has had in 
the legacy that she has left here at Hope College will be forever. She will be permanently part of the Burke softball lure with her clutch performances. See what I did there? Clutch hitting and game day performances in big time situations. We are truly going to miss this young lady. Hopefully one day you're back here coaching with me. It'd be an honor. I love you, kid. Jenna has also recently accepted a Division II scholarship to go play at Chuan um, down in North Carolina, too, so let's give her a <laughs> Next up, number nine, Juliana Finnerty. <laughs> Juliana Finney. Finn, Huck. Juliana comes to us by way of Pulaski, New York, and she would like everyone to know that that's the salmon capital of the Northeast. <laughs> I'm not going to have any opportunity to say that anymore. I have known Finn since she was a skinny little bean pole in 10th grade, and we met during a hitting camp at the Hazens. Right then and there, in that moment, I knew I wanted that young lady to play for me someday. She was eager, coachable, smart, quirky, ridiculously funny, and unique in so many ways. I knew she was a kid that we wanted to build our program around and help propel our culture onto something greater. And she has done exactly that. Our fearless leader of last year's Avengers squad continued to grow, getting better, stronger, faster with each and every workout and practice. She has a ton of power, a cannon arm, Super athletic, being able to play the outfield, infield, and catch, all at a high level. She's been our captain along with Kenzie Keel. With I'm sorry, she's been our captain along with Bonnie and Keeler, and has been a rock, leading this team with grace and integrity. She has done everything I have needed and then some, always going above and beyond, from baking cupcakes to bring to high schools for visits for me, to making me the best giant blanket for my birthday to volunteering to work open house and represent her college, all the way to staying in the office until 2 a.m. to do our display case and open house. She's a true, whatever it takes type of person, a trait that she has no doubt learned from her incredible family. Her talent goes way above and beyond softball. She's one of the best artists I've ever seen with breathtaking pictures and even her cupcakes that I only admire for seconds before I devour them, as they taste even better than they look. I know Finn hasn't had the season she has hoped for this year, but her faith and her attitude never waver. She only wants what's best for her team and never questions any decisions from the coaching staff. She's the epitome of what it means to be a team player. But that's the game. Sometimes results are tough to come by in this game. However, staying true to who you are is the ultimate test and the one that she passes with flying colors. She is our Nancy Fabozzi, Brooklyn College Award winner, for displaying those characteristics daily. Next year, Finn will be taking her talents to continue her education in her playing career at Division I Manhattan College. Woo! I'm so proud of you, and I can't thank you enough for all that you have done for me. I look forward to a lifetime friendship. Love you, and thank you for choosing her for me. Your legacy has been mine. But not least, number 13, Maria De Negro. <laughs> Maria, from her, comes to us from Frankfurt, New York. I have known Mur the longest of any of our players and developed a lifelong bond with this girl since she's been coming to our Kirkwood Clinic since the age of 12. Yes, that is when the recruiting started, because I always knew Maria was special, not only as an elite athlete, but also as a person. An indication that she was raised right by a great family who came from good cloth. Not only did I develop a bond with her, but I did with her family, as they become some of 
our biggest supporters throughout the years. And for that, I am forever indebted to all the Denegros. Thank you. Every once in a while, you come across that kid that you know you'll have a relationship with that will go way above and beyond the game. And that young lady for me is Maria. She's always had my back no matter what. And I know there are times she may be frustrated with me, but that's what family is. As there are certain times we have been frustrated with each other. But we don't give up. We stand by one another, support each other, and have each other's backs no matter the situation. Being a fellow Italian, we both know what family truly is and what family truly means. And I'm honored to call and consider Maria and the Negro family for life. Thank you for all that you have done. Maria is one of our brightest young ladies, being an engineering student, and is currently still going through the process of where she will attend college and finish her playing career. She is a dynamic athlete and an elite defender, and someone is going to be truly lucky to have her on their team. Maria, thank you for your sacrifice, commitment, and for your loyalty. Love you with all my heart. Thank you for choosing me. your completion of a significant chapter in each of your stories. Doesn't it feel like yesterday you were putting on your Herc jersey for the first time? Your first college home run, first shutout, has, it's gone by fast, hasn't it? When you step on the field for the last time, take a moment to look in the crowd, look at your teammates, to your coaches, and to each other, and remember the way it makes you feel, as this is a feeling that you remember for the rest of your life. This may be your last playoff stress as a general, but the lessons you've learned and the mark you've left will last a lifetime. you've earned and the family you've created. We wish you all the best of luck in your next chapter and hope you take a piece of Herkimer with you wherever you go. We love you and we'll surely miss your smiles every day. Thank you for everything. Shine on, ladies. Love, you're precious. <laughs> um, again, I just want to say thank you. Uh, we will play Friday um, at morning uh, at 12 o'clock and then again at 4 p.m. Thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. Nobody home. Home. <laughs> 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 